welcome back to my channel it's your girl abs iggy with a brand new video look i'm back with another story time if you ain't subscribed make sure you subscribe right now give this a like a thumbs up comment away turn on your post notifications all of that hoo-ha all right so my true stories my story times are all true stories um, this is a time when some guy at uni tried to grope me and it's just all true. So I was 18. This was, I was a fresher. This is when I was a fresher, fresher in uni. Um, and I went to, I went to Kent University in Medway, if you know about Kent. Um, and yeah, also I was doing my undergraduate degree. Um, so I remember first started off in, um, Freshers Week. And if you don't know what Freshers Week is, it's basically when, you first moved to uni and there's a hell load of parties going on everywhere. Like the uni usually puts on like a schedule of parties and sometimes people that are in uni put on their own little parties as well. But you literally go and get pissed for like a whole week. That is literally what it is. It's an introduction to uni life and it can be, um, it can be a bit mad. It can be quite painful. So I remember um, I went to Freshers Week. There was just one event. It was called a Neon Jungle Rave. And look. You know what? I still got the pictures, you know. I look a lot different, but I'm going to put some pictures up for you lot, yeah. Um, so basically, you, it's all about neon colours, bright lights, you know, face paint and stuff and that. So I put on this little pink tutu looking like a little black fairy. Um, I'm pretty sure I painted my face. I might have. I can't remember too much, but I'm going to look through my pictures and I'm going to show you lot, yeah. And I must have went with a few of my friends, innit? So... Um, I was the only one actually out of my group of friends that was living on campus, whereas everyone else was kind of commuting in. So um, at my house, we decided to kind of have a little drink up and stuff like that, like pre-drink. So um, all my friends came over. Um, we were partying. I used to live with these three boys who were hella annoying. Two of them were music students and they used to shut their hell up. We used to play music at like three, four o'clock in the morning. And one girl, um, and literally I just met them the night before. So... We all decided to party together, um, had pre-drinks at ours, so we were drinking, everyone was just mash up already before we even got there. And where my uni accommodation was to my actual uni, it was probably about a 10 to 15 minute walk, um, depending on how like quick you walk and stuff. So must have pre-drinks now, went out to this um event. So when we got there, our uni club was like it was like a pub really, a pub with a space, music, some sort of DJ, and um just party along man do what you gotta do so i remember being there and i remember i met this one girl and i remember being drunk right and there was just one girl she was kind of short like shorter than me some black chick and um i remember the thing about uni when you're fresher everyone everyone's happy meeting you within your second year third year everyone's just living life in that moment it's easy to talk to people introduce yourself and get on have a laugh in it so it's pretty much easy for people to come to you and be like oh what's your name what is my name what are you studying red hair tear so I remember there's just one girl. What was her I can't remember her name. Even if I remember her name, I'm not sure if I would want to say it just in case she watches this. Um, but I met this one girl. And just for story time's sake, you know, I like to name people. Let's just call her Michelle, right? Met this girl called Michelle. She wants to come up to me. I remember she was in my face like, oh, are you fresher? I was like, yeah, I'm a fresher. She's like, oh, what's your name? I was like, my name's Abby. She was like, oh, what are you studying? And I told her what I was studying. I was like, what are you studying? I was like, yeah. She's like, how are you finding it so far? I was like, it's my second day here. It seems really cool. Everyone's friendly. She's like, yeah, it's really good. I remember just dancing. And then I kind of remember her like just floating around me like throughout the night and other people just about. And I remember one particular time, I remember, you know, as the night was going on, the alcohol hole was still hitting my system. Do you know what I mean? So it was just creeping, creeping a bit. And I remember being pretty drunk one time. I think I was standing just near the bar, like, swaying a bit. And um, I remember she come up to me. She was like, are you all right? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And I just remember, like, her hands, like, just touching my face like this. And she's like, oh, you're really pretty. I remember. And I obviously looked different back then, innit? Um, I'm not saying I'm not pretty, but you know what I mean? Um... So I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I just remember her just touched me in a way that you don't touch people like that when you don't know them. It was a bit too friendly. But I didn't think anything of it. I thought she was just being genuinely nice. And I remember um, that night just being a blip. So obviously, as the weeks go by now in uni, you've settled into your classes, you've met people, you're kind of trying to form a clique with your friends. Right, I tell you, you know what it's like if you've been in uni. And then 
I remember being out with one of my friends. I had a friend, this guy called um, James. He was a cool guy. Look at me just name dropping. Anyway, James was pretty cool. He became one of my friends, close friends in uni because we lived in the same, literally lived like in the same block. So we hung out. We weren't doing the same course or nothing. I remember one time we were walking, we are hanging out and then bumped into her. She's like, oh, I remember you from freshman. I was like, I remember you, Rete Tete. And then we were just chatting, general chit chat. And then she was like, oh, what's your number? So I gave her my number, just thinking, you know, she's being friendly. She's a third year, thinking she just wants to, you know, bring me in, show me around maybe, um, and just be friendly. So I didn't think anything of it. And then I do remember her messaging me. Now, she weren't messaging me anything mad, anything, you know, inappropriate or out of the ordinary. It was literally just like, hey, how are you, babe? general chit chat she's like where are you from what area i was like yeah i'm from south london blah 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 she's like i'm from Croydon and all this stuff yeah um and it was just genuinely chit chat and then I didn't think anything much of it and then she just kept texting me a lot more and it wasn't anything in particular it was just more like she just wanted to talk so i just thought hey, you got no friends like you're third year already like you're on your way out and i've just started like it was a bit i found it a bit weird like she just took a likeness to me um so I didn't think anything of it. I didn't, didn't. Why would I? Anyway, so time started going by, and I remember I went out with one of my. I went out with James. I went out with another one of my boys. Um, I'm not gonna say his name because he probably will be watching this. Um, and we were out at another party in uni, and she was there. I thought, and at this point, I think I was getting a little bit feeling a bit weird about her because she just kept messaging. Me. I thought this girl's weird, man. Like, like. I just found it weird and I'm probably not saying everything that I want to but she was there and I remember feeling weird about seeing her because I just thought oh at this point I think I wasn't avoiding her but I just found her quite weird like why she was just on messaging me so much and at this time I wasn't out by the way guys I, I had never never been with a girl nothing like that no experience so I was literally a fresher like I was a fresh human being like um literally it so she kept coming around and stuff blah blah talking to me general chit chat and then she just kept dancing near me and just like she was so hands-on like she was so friendly i just thought like personal space a little bit at this point um i was 18 so i was thinking well, why is she like so friendly it was just so bizarre to me um and then i remember one of my boys come up to me not james yeah another guy that I was with and he was just like oh you know michelle yeah that lesbian <laughs> and i remember i looked at him like what do you mean lesbian like i was like what is she lesbian and he was just laughing and I genuinely was like, what do you mean? Like, my my ignorance of the world and on people at that age was, it was real. Like, I knew they existed. So, I mean, um, I was just young and a bit oblivious, let me say. I was just so vulnerable a little bit, you know? Um, and I was just thinking the whole night, like, what's he talking about? And I remember he just kept laughing at it. And it was just weird. And I thought it was weird that he picked up on, I was thinking, is he picking up on her vibes or the way she is with me? Or did he say it for a reason? I know I should have questioned him, but I didn't. I think his comment just freaked me out. Anyway, so fast forward now. Um, I must have seen her out again, I remember. And she was just bare like, oh, oh, that was it. I bumped into her, yeah. And she was just bare like, talking to me. She's like, where are you going? I was like, I'm going home for the weekend, back to London. She's like, oh, like, she asked me, like, where I'm going, what I'm doing. She was like, oh, you must be lucky. Um, your boyfriend must be happy to see you. And at this point, then I knew she was fishing. Now... I might have been a bit vulnerable and silly, but I, I was, I was definitely starting to think, what's your problem? Like, you like me or something? Like, um, and she was fishing. I was like, oh, I don't have a boyfriend. She's like, really? Like, oh, all the guys must be after you kind of thing. And I, and I just thought she's definitely fishing to know about me. And I felt very uncomfortable in that moment of time. So I remember I just kind of did it off the conversation, left it as that. And I just thought, this girl fancies me. Like, I don't know why I just left thinking that. And I don't know why I was shocked because I'm a cutie, but... I was just shocked. Do you know what I mean? That she chose me. Um, so anyway, fast forward now. I must have been with my boy James. Now, we were walking back from somewhere, going back to my room. So we used to hang out a lot in my room. And then we must have seen her. And she was like, and she knew James as well. So she was just like, oh, where are you guys going? And then I was thinking, shut up, James. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. He's like, uh, I was thinking, shut up, James. Like, don't say anything to this girl. I was like, oh, we're just going back to mine and that. Um, and I thought, why are you so dumb? You don't want to say anything, you just said it. I don't know, I think I got nervous, in it. And then she was like, oh, can I come? I was like, no. But, you know, I kind of said it in a bountiful way. 
And then he was laughing, James, because he's, he's James. And then um, I didn't think, like, she was offended or anything like that. I just ignored it, innit? And she was like, oh, where do you live? Lot live. And then James was kind of like, oh, just second floor. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't think of anything of it now. So I must have went to my place, me and James. We must have been playing something, PlayStation, or probably dancing or something like that. We, were, we used to have a lot of fun in uni. Then all of a sudden you hear on my door. So I was like, who that? Like, the only people I know that not for me is James. And I was like, bro, I'll answer that. He answered the door. Why is Michelle standing there, please? So I must have said to her, oh, bro, you found it then. She was like, yeah, what are you guys up to? Kind of thing. And then James invited her in. I just thought, bro, okay. So I must have been sitting. Imagine this is my bed. Yeah, I was sitting in the corner here with like my controller or whatever I was doing. James was sitting on the chair where my desk was and she came and sat on the bed. And then we, and at this point, by the way, I had told James about my feelings towards the girl. So he was just there sniggering like some little girl in the corner. And I just thought, ah, this girl in my room right now, like this is just weird. Like, and then me and James, like we were just talking, bantering. And then I can't exactly remember everything that was said, but I know that the atmosphere and the conversation started changing a lot. And then she was just like trying to banter me about something. And then all I remember was um, James was cracking up in a corner. And then she came up to me and she was just like, oh, trying to like play fight with me kind of thing. Like, so I was sitting on the bed and she was, and she was like trying to like hit me and play fight. And I was like, leave me alone, man. What are you doing? Like just laughing off, like leave me alone. And then she just kept like hitting me. Like, and then she kind of turned her body towards me on the bed. And I was just like, leave me alone. Like a bit like, it's a bit weird. And then this girl went and grabbed my breast. I'm not even joking. She went and did this and did this. I was like, what are you doing? And then James, I looked at James and he, he this guy, this poor boy, yeah, he, he's a sweet boy. He was just laughing, but I think he started feeling uncomfortable. I was just like, what are you doing? Don't grab me like that. And then I, she just kind of just looked at me like it was still funny, but I was like, don't drag me like, like don't touch me like that. Don't grope me like that. Um, and she was just laughing. And I was just like, nah. Then I kind of started switching. I got up in bed. I was like, get out of my room. She was like, what? And she kind of stood up and like backed up. I was like, get out of my room, man. Like, what are you doing? Kind of thing. And she was just like, oh, no, no. I was just joking around. And in my head, I thought, like, you can't just be touching people's breasts like that. I didn't even give you permission. Do you know what I mean? Like, how you just, like, and, and it was awkward because it's never happened to me before, yeah. I ain't never had no one just, grab my breast like that like thinking about it like it's just weird um and i really didn't know i don't know if i did the right thing and stuff like in terms of like switching i did feel a bit bad because i actually did get angry yeah and i just kicked her out of the room and i closed the door and me and james looked at each other like what the hell was that and he just looked at me like oh no like he didn't know what to do i was just like i just felt violent because i just stood there like this like yeah man it was just it was bare awkward man um and then after that, I definitely deleted the number, I blocked her and made sure I didn't speak to her again like that. I did obviously see her about, but it was only for a year because, or well, half a year actually, when you're in third year, you kind of finish, finish up the years quicker than others, don't you? But yeah, man, it was, uh, it was weird, but never again. But listen, that's story time done. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, 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 oh,